Good afternoon, YouTube people, world, everywhere, whoever, wherever. Today's Sunday, Sunday fun day. Welcome back, half fast 719. Was working on the project crack pipe yesterday and this morning for a little while. And it just got got too windy. Um yeah, I don't know if you can tell. It's a little wider. The bed. So what was going on with with this uh, widening of the bed? As you can see this steel is so rusted where the bolt holes were. Every time I tried to weld with the TIG welder, it just blow stuff up. So I ended up doing rivets. Then ended up doing rivets over here. So I think total is six inches wider. That is just temporary, just drilled. Just so I can get that. Um as you can see I got this is the cross brace for the chassis I need to get some more steel so these are just temporarily screwed in I'll obviously I'll weld it and then what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna box this from here all the way down and I'll probably go down even farther to the bottom of the fender so I'll, I'll come in with uh, sheet metal come in come down and then go down again uh, the shape of the fender kind of do like a roll pan so um, I'll have to do this these I just drilled and riveted to um, until I can figure it all out until I can get this bed in the garage I was trying to TIG weld and do stuff out here and with the wind and everything I think that was my bigger problem so for now I took off the show you on this side took out this cross member here so just ground off the rivets there and there and over there also because I needed to bring the gas tank forward and down so this is just temporary in there um, just until I figure it out but then I don't I got burnt out so when I took the rivets out and then basically had to slide that cross member over and then twist it and then pull it out um, it spread come some circus music anyway uh, had to spread the frame o it ended up spreading the frame open about a quarter inch so I got this clamped in to where it needs to go so what I'll end up doing is I'm gonna take this I'm gonna go buy some more of this when I get back take this I'm gonna put it here and then I'll weld it I'll put another one up here in the front and then likewise I'll do one back there close to there and then uh, I'll use this strap the gas tank strap to strap up the gas tank because what was happening on this side not the swap mate apparently I think it's broken um, anyway the gas tank when the suspension was all the way drooped uh, so the chassis would come up and this gas tank lip here would hit the airbag so anyway so I wanted to move it forward because the gas tank basically this piece here used to sit like this so and it'll be it'll be more straight like that to hold the gas tank level and uh, yeah and then once I get the bed or get the truck in there in the in the garage that'll give me room to do my finishing finish grinding 
so I can make the tubs. And, uh, but yeah, just wanted to do a, a little, little video for this junk. Just to try to get the ball rolling, get this thing going. I did, uh, last week. I put this air conditioning unit thingy in here. So these are just temporary bolts. What I'd like to use is something, maybe like these gold bolts or something. I don't know what those are from, but I drilled holes. And maybe they'll go in there, maybe they won't. Maybe I'll have to find something else out. So, um, but yeah, for, for the most part, I don't know if I'm gonna use this cluster here this gauge cluster or not. I kind of would like to use the old gauge cluster, but I kind of think I can make this one work in there and then I can do, uh, you know, some some type of gauges on the outside here, here. Um, I forget what goes there. Something goes there, the radio goes there. So this is the other cluster stock one which I'd like to use it but I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to use it um, just because uh, I might be able to use it because it just has a temp battery so you got temp battery fuel oil pressure so you got fuel battery oil pressure so it has all it has all the stuff for it. The only problem is is a speedometer. So this is a mechanical speedometer, um, and I'd have to use some type of something else because this is a electronic speedometer. So yeah, I don't really know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And this truck only has 36,000 miles. This one's got 217,000. I'm just kidding. This one's probably got 136,000. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I did have... I did have this mocked up on a cardboard box. Um, the cardboard box got soaked. So now I can attack... I was just ch testing it to see if I can attach these and yes I can attach these now um so yeah so anyway still got some stuff to do um it's just been finally it has been warm for two days and I kind of burnt myself out yesterday um by just doing all kinds of stuff because I sat inside the house for three days, four days while it was raining. And as you can see, we got so much rain that we have all these weeds. So I'm gonna have to get the weed whacker out. Weed whacker out and uh, weed and get the tractor out and start plowing. But anyway, so that's it. Just wanted to do a little video of what's going on with Project Crack Pipe. And then I have the tailgate inside. Sorry for the wind. But obviously I'll have to widen the tailgate. I'll probably have to do something like I did up there. So if I remember right, it's it's wider by... So that was an inch. These are four inches long. So those are four inches wide. That's an inch to there. So that makes this three inches, so six inches wider overall. I think it looks better. I think the C10 should have came like that. A little wider. So it's getting there. It'll get there eventually. So obviously nothing's this is another reason why I just screwed these down with one screw 
is because the bed's not square so I can still play with the bed even though it looks looks pretty dead on and it's just hard to tell if it's square or not because it's hard to get a measurement because everything's so beat up and dented and there's so much bondo everywhere so anyway anyway guys you guys tell me what you guys think um, what I'm gonna do to get my wheel arch pattern is I'll just stick a sharpie on there stick a sharpie on there and then trace around that tire that way it has a better arch a uniform I guess so anyway guys that's gonna be it make sure you guys subscribe comment there's gonna be more project crack pipe content um, when I get home you guys let me know what you guys think how's it going everybody safe Everybody out here is safe. Everybody's out riding dirt bikes, off-road toys. Besides this guy. Not this guy, apparently. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment. Later.